Okay, I want to help you understand the process. There is my man of the hour. I didn't have it on. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Hi, everybody. I don't know why I don't... I evidently try to push it and don't push it. <laughs> All the way. Joe, Joe has been just working his tail off over this chicken. And these sweet taters. The chickens from the store. Sweet taters from a can. They're delicious. Anyway, I'll <laughs> see you later. I do want to show you something else that Joe did recently. And I think you'll appreciate it. And if you're someone who wants to purchase any of these paintings with the flat canvases, if you want the frameless look, this is what Joe has done. Now, on these three florals... He put these, he framed the back of them. That way, you can put your hanger or your sawtooth. It depends on whether, we haven't put them on because we don't, some people like them in the middle and some people like them one on each end. So, but that's what he has done with all of these florals. And... And the tulips so and it kind of gives the impression of being frameless when you look at it he painted all the sides white and uh, but I just wanted to show you those again so that I can let you know that if you want to wish to purchase one or a, you know a flat canvas painting that we can do that these, I already like, these are stretch canvas, and I do like to hang them without a frame. I just think they, I think they look very unique that way. Anyway, this one is all about our project for tonight. I had never painted a bear. I painted a bear eating cranberries. He has just come out of hibernation and he's a hungry bear and he has he's eating those cranberries he's got two full two full full bushes to just chomp on right there so I'm going to sculpt a bear I am going to make an armature for this bear okay I'm going to use this wire you don't need to see me that much. I want to make sure sometimes I get wound up in what I'm doing and forget to get the picture wide enough for you. But if I get it too wide, then you're going to... I don't know. Okay. I don't want this guy to be too big. Okay. There's his backbone. <laughs> and now I need to make four legs. Oh, that's crazy. I will never be able to do that again. But I'm glad I did this time. <laughs> I am so glad I did this time. Straighten him out a little. Just gotta decide which is the tail end and which is the front end. <laughs> Cause it don't have much of a tail. They really don't have much of a tail. It looks like I'm making a mess, but... 
and I am. <laughs> but it's a squeezable mess. I have an idea for cranberry juice. <laughs> now I'm going to let you set on that one. <laughs> How do I put cranberry juice on a bear? I mean, after all, in the painting, he's just come out of hibernation. He's hungry, and he's loving them cranberries. That's him. There's our bar. No, <laughs> I'm not wetting there. I'm not that. I'll be back when I get some, some, uh, yeah. When I get some clay <laughs> through the spaghetti roller. <laughs> Okay, there's another time I did it. <laughs> Thought I had it turned on and I didn't. I have to add a little bit up here. So we have enough for his eyes. They're not very prominent, but they are there. So, just have to blend that in. Those ears look pretty good. Then you get the fingerprints out a little bit. I don't mind leaving a little fingerprint, but I don't want it to be. Now I do I can go over it with that softener later, but I don't always do that. Sometimes I just let my fingerprints speak for me. <laughs> If anyone ever wants to know them or compare them, they're on almost all of my sculptures. <laughs> my daughter said she got a perfect one on one of her things that I gave her one time. She said, Mom, I've got your perfect thumbprint. <laughs> I said, good, you'll know how to find me. <laughs> okay. I am working right now. I'm just trying to distribute the weight. <laughs> I've I've made, well, sculpted the main part of the head, but I need to get some weight on the back end so that so that he's more balanced. This kind of sculpt it takes a quite a while. The masking tape has simply helped smooth out the foil which is what I would generally do with the ultralight clay. Unfortunately, I'm out of it. And it would have been, I would have been able to do a lot more fleshing out with it. But we'll get this done and it'll look okay. I'm That back, back leg is actually filling out really good. So I want to try and keep you involved with this and still get through it quicker than what it filmed. So. I'm going to move it forward a while, a ways. Okay, I want to help you understand the process and why I'm taking out so much of it. This is a very long process, and I worked on this for almost two hours or at least that much. And so if I were to try to show you all that, and speeding it all up all the time, you don't really get the sense of what I'm doing. You just see something going fast and my fingers moving all over the place. But I am trying to get him all smoothed out. And unfortunately, for some reason, I've forgotten that I have tools for that. It's just that it's bizarre because I'm sitting here and I fuss it. Look, that's what I remember. It's like, Glenn, you have tools for this stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I finally remember. And so I'll bring them over and start using them. Okay. I think he's starting to look like some kind of bear. Uh, you will see that strip of clay in the back there, that long, wide, 
thing laying flat back there. That is what I am using to, to mold this beast. <laughs> I am working <laughs> to get him, well, I guess the words I used when I was sitting there frustrated was, I'm going to master this thing. <laughs> but that's just kind of to tell myself I'm getting angry and I'm going to do it no matter what. <laughs> anyway, but... Yeah, I do want his paws to be flat, and I I want them large, because their paws are very large. So, he's going to be a little lean, and I don't know. I've always thought their heads were a lot closer to their body, and his neck's a little long, but I ain't going to sweat about that. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just doing my best to make this bear. Okay. Huh, they're about the right size. I'm not going to go to all the stuff with eyebrows and all that. No. No, 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 no. Okay, he's got his mouth, he's got his nose, he's got his paws. What I'm doing now is I am giving him fur. <laughs> I haven't found another tool around the house or anything that will work better than just doing it with a toothpick because a fork is too wide at times and the it just wouldn't work. I think you know that. I just, it's better if I just do it my way, and this is my way. There may, there's probably a tool out there, but I like using toothpicks. I don't know why. I do well with toothpicks. So that's that. <laughs> As if anybody's going to criticize me if it comes out looking right. So, there are sculptors out there, much more professional, who work on things like this all week long. And then, in one day, they'll show you parts and what they did all week long. And it'll come out in like a 15 or 20 minute stretch. And so... I've had to do this tonight or today, and so I'm cutting it down into a 15 to 20 minute stretch. Just a few more little additions. Hope you can still see them good. What is a bear without claws? A snake here. Big snake, it looks like. <laughs> well, there is our bear. Once we get him painted tomorrow, hopefully he'll look even more like a bear. The mouth is under here where it should be. So, I hope he looks genuine enough to at least look like a cartoon. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and tomorrow we'll paint it. Sculpt one day, paint the next. I love you. Smile and wave, there's yours. Good night. Go share that smile and wave. People need to know that friendliness. We'll talk to you tomorrow. A heart speed to the city streets, we begin to feel the fire.